Welcome back to another IM Users video. We had a request for some help on doing some pattern registration, specifically on a rounded component that had several of the same feature around it, like a gear or a, like something that has bolt hole circles to it. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit how to do that. And we've got an actual gear component here. It's actually a clocking gear. So we're going to hit register pattern. Let it load up. Now, by default, the machine is going to try its hardest to figure out something that actually will work. Now, in this case, it's just going to select the entire component, and in most cases, this might work. The thing you're going to run into is it's going to get a little confused about which one of these heads, or insets, to actually set as the top. So in this case, we're going to select No. Now, apart this simple, we could just leave as the entire scanned area of the component. But if your part's a little more complicated, you may want to shrink your search area down and select something that's a little more unique about your component. So maybe that be a hole. If you do do one of the holes for a bolt hole, make sure you select enough of the outside area of the part so it knows where that hole should be located. Uh, if it's a gear, you can just use an individual tooth, that sort of thing. Now the important feature is right here. Under your search range, it by default will look 360 degrees. Now in this case, I know that that feature appears three times, so I'm just going to divide 360 by 3, and I get 120. And effectively what I'm telling the machine is that from this position, 120 degrees from here, you'll see the exact same thing, and the same goes this way. So it's only going to search 60 degrees and 60 degrees looking for that feature. Once we think you have it, hit register, and it will come up detected properly. There's our feature. Hit OK, and now that's actually saved. Hit save, and from here we'll continue on as we would with any other program. 